Hey, Jerry. I, I feel like very accomplished today. I have videoed two videos, so I'm excited for you to check them out. They're not live yet, but there's gonna be two YouTube videos coming up for a video series, one on brows and one on a smoky eye. So that's why I have a full face of makeup on now. We're gonna take it off together before we go into our glassy eye, glassy skin look. So I can't wait for you to check out those videos. If you have not liked me on Facebook or followed me on Instagram or subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. Um, so thanks for joining. We're just waiting for a few more people to tune in. Thanks for joining on a Thursday night at seven o'clock. Um, Jerry, I have some great brow tips, so I can't wait for that video to be shared. So since it's seven o'clock and I've been up since seven working, I've done my full work day. Um, I got the hubby to feed the kids. I am going to pour myself a glass of wine and I'm gonna say, why don't you go grab a glass of wine while we have our glassy skin happy hour. This is my new favorite wine since COVID-19 has happened. It's Apothic Inferno. So while we're waiting for our friends to jump on, go grab your glass of wine. I love this. It says it's aged in whiskey barrels for 60 days. I do love a nice whiskey drink. I love whiskey sours. That is my favorite mixed drink. So grab a glass. I have my glass. I actually like to drink wine from a glass. I'm like old school Italian. Um, I'm not Italian, but my husband is half Italian. So I feel like I can be old school Italian with my glass. I prefer a short glass instead of a wine glass. So I'm gonna pour myself some wine. So as we wait for people to join in, grab a glass of wine, a beer, let me know how do you like your wine? Do you like it in a glass? Do you like it, how do you drink your beer? Do you like your beer in a glass or from a can or a bottle? Hey, Anna Kay. I love to drink my beer when I drink beer from the bottle. I don't like it in a glass. I know that's maybe weird, but we're just having um, a toast. Um, my work evening's over, the kids are fed, and now I'm gonna hang out with you, so Grab your tea if you're not a drinker, your coffee, and we're gonna have happy hour or a tea party together. Anike, I mentioned you in one of my other videos. I was showing a tip. You asked for eyeliner and to show how eyeliner stays on. So I, I mentioned you in one of my videos. I think it was my other live, so you'll have to check it out. I said, my friend Anike, this is for her. I'm showing you how to keep your eyeliner on. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Zet. How are you? Okay, Sherry says cheers. This is so good. If you didn't, so my favorite wine since COVID has happened, if you have not tried this, this only comes out seasonally. It is the bomb. It's called Apothic Inferno. Okay, you cannot always get this screenshot, the bottle. I bought, this is my second case, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, it's been a couple months for my second case. Hey, Lee Nails, how are you? Lee Nails is a great nail salon. Tracy, how are you? Thank you for the Clinique order yesterday and thank your son for me. Yeah, the cool, it's such a cool bottle. Is that, yes, you should see it. You've got to screenshot it and try this. It's like my volleyball mom friend's favorite wine now. They're, screen, they're showing me like they're buying this in the cases, I think. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get started in about one minute. This is like my favorite new trend. It was trending last year in 2019, but it's starting to trend really big now um, in 2020. Um, if you Google glassy skin, a bunch of the magazines, I don't remember which ones are talking about it, but a bunch of them are talking about it. Hey, Crystal and Sherika, but it's, and Leslie, hey, how are you? So a bunch of the magazines are talking about this glassy skin. So I had to try it on and it's my new fave. Like I was, the baking girl, and I'm not even gonna use powder because this is like the bomb. So, speaking of the bomb, we're gonna get started, and I'm gonna use Take the Day Off Clinique Balm. This is my favorite, favorite makeup remover. So, it comes in this nice, creamy, balmy makeup remover, 
And I'm starting my glossy routine taking off my makeup because if you didn't hear earlier when you tuned in, I've been filming videos all day today and I did a brow video and I did a smoky eye video. So stay tuned for them. Check them out on my YouTube channel. Um, they're not up yet, but they're going to be soon. Um, so we're going to take all my makeup off, but my eyes and my brows. Glassy skin is all about skincare, good skincare first. So I was hesitant to do the skincare first, but then I'm like, I need to because you need to see that it's all about the skincare. So Glassy Skin is all about the skincare. This, this makeup remover, this Clinique Take the Day Off Balm in this beautiful purple container is for all skin types. I have some water on cotton balls already. So it's for even an oily skin, a dry skin, if you're like me or like a combination skin. It's best to do it over the sink, but I have cotton balls ready with some water on them and I'm rinsing it off. What I love about this is it takes everything off. It takes your eye makeup off, it takes your face makeup off, and your skin will feel like a baby's skin. So it's amazing. If you notice in the notes of this video, hey Tanya, Clinique gave me a 20% hookup code for all my friends and family. So if you wanna purchase something from Clinique, you can go on clinique.com, follow the link that's in the um, deets of this, you know, details of this video, and go to clinique.com, so follow my link, and then use my 20% code. So if there's anything you wanna buy, you get the friends and family hookup. So this is just the makeup remover to prep skin, but we're gonna leave brows and my eyes, and we're using Take the Day Off Balm. I'm going down into my neck some. I should, probably should have left my neck. I had some highlight in my neck, but oh well. And we are going to double cleanse because double cleansing is imperative when you're wearing makeup. Hey, Megan. Hey, Kara. Kara, your baby girl is so cute. Megan, I hope you're doing good. I miss my New Jersey family. My husband's from New Jersey and he has family up there. What part of New Jersey do you live in, Megan? So I am using, hey Jerry, this awesome cleanser. Um, it's the Clinique Extra Mild Cleanser. I'm not a dry skin, this is typically for a dry skin, but I'm a dry combination skin and I'm getting drier and I like the way this feels. So again, this is a rinse off cleanser, but um, I'm just quickly rinsing it off with the cotton balls that I have soaked with water. So we can just speed up the process for you. So you wanna double cleanse because if you just do one cleanser when you have a full face of makeup like I had on, you're gonna, when you go to like exfoliate with a toner, well toners don't exfoliate, but you exfoliate with our clarifying lotion, you're just gonna get uh, more makeup and not exfoliate. So exfoliation is like key. Um, so you wanna make sure that you're getting exfoliation so the skin looks really polished, especially with this glassy skin. Oh, okay. So you live near Bridgewater. I used to have that mall back in the day, years ago, um, when I was a account coordinator in New Jersey. Cool. Hey, Denise. So next step is we're going to clarifying lotion. So glassy skin, is all about the skincare. And Glassy Skin started in um, Korea. It's a Korean trend and I, I just love it. So we wanna make the skin look, you know, really dewy and luminous without looking oily. This is exfoliating and clarifying lotion takes away dead skin. Toners do not take away dead skin. I'm gonna use a little bit more. Hey Maddie. I love seeing your little princess in her pajamas today with her mommy. Akiba, my girl, Pennsylvania, House, House uh, Harrisburg area. So this exfoliator is so nice. It's called Clarifying Lotion. I call this liquid gold, okay? This is for a skin type dry combination. You need this. Everybody needs this. Um, and my new jam, what's been my jam for like a year, but I was out of it. If you saw my unboxing, Essence lotions, they're unreal. 
these this is the even better essence lotion i have discoloration as my concern if you want that glassy skin you want a good amount of this shake it in the palm of your hand and it's like this watery lotion it's big in the asian markets korean um so for my korean glassy skin i rub my hands and i la i pat it and lather it all into the skin i even sometimes go for this skin with this go with a second round hey greg did you oh did you start using this jerry this essence it's did you get it yet jerry's saying she started using the essence and i'd love to know somebody else what you think of the essence tell me what if you started using this tell me what you think i love this one the even better one if you're concerned with discoloration it helps with discoloration it plumps the skin, it brightens, it gives you that glassy skin look. It's unbelievable. I love it. I use it every day. And I also have a pore and texture concern. So I have like pores around my nose and my cheeks. This is the new Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion ID with the blue cartridge. So you can get all different cartridges. Some are for aging, some are for discoloration. But since I'm getting the discoloration stuff in my essence lotion and in my um, serum that I use, I wanted to get something different. So I am addressing a different concern with this ID with my pores and texture. Hi, Nancy Day. So the pores and texture, this is amazing. Um, it has AHAs in it, which just make the skin look beautiful and retexturized. So that is dramatically different ID. And then I'm gonna use my serum. This is the even better serum. And I'm just going quickly through my skincare so we can get to the nitty gritty of the um, look with the makeup, how to get glossy skin with adding your makeup. So I'm using the serum, even better. It helps with that discoloration concern of mine. And I have that lifting concern because I'm over 40 and I need some lifting in this jaw area and chin area. Hey, Terry and Colleen. So the white is for sculpting. It's amazing. So smart. Like we should have come out with this a while ago. It was just the niftiest thing. Two in one, this cream, two in one. You can see two, you get the white cream is for sculpting. So you use that along your jaw. And then you want to go in an upward motion. Um, and then the purple is for plumping. So wherever you need plumping, like think of those smile lines. How about I go outside like this? Although I have to have my mask, so my mask would go. <laughs> Maryland now is mandatory to wear a mask when you go out. Anybody else state? Is it in, I saw um, Pennsylvania friends, New Jersey friends. Um, is it mandatory in your state to wear the mask? And Malou's not on, but my girl Malou gave my family the hookup. She made a mask for everybody in my family. So that was so sweet. Thank you, Malou, if you watch this. So sculpting, plumping, that's an amazing. It's called um, Clinique Smart Clinical MD. You need that if you're over 40. Okay, so to get that extra, extra, extra hydration, I am gonna, hey Angie, how's Texas today? Is it hot? Extra hydration, especially for my friend Angie who just joined in Texas. Your Moisture Surge Face Spray. It has hyaluronic acid. That's so good for plumping and hydration. Yes, oh, New York too, Jerry. Sorry, I forgot New York. New York masks are mandatory too. Yeah. I have to wear a mask when I go to the store. It makes me not want to go to the store. I don't want to wear, I mean, I'll wear the mask, but they're uncomfortable. Okay. So that's our skincare. So now we're going to do, you want to do with this glassy skin look, make sure you're using a really hydrating foundation. Or if you're not, if you're like an oilier skin, mix some of your moisturizer. Moisture Surge comes in a gel. And that is great to mix with your foundation to give it extra hydration. My foundation that I use is Even Better Refresh. You can see it says hydrating and repairing makeup. I'm using this in ivory. This will give me that glassy skin dewy look. And 
even better refresh for my other cameras. I'm sorry if I wasn't showing the product good to you guys. So we're going to pat this on. We don't want to use too much foundation and you don't want to use a matte foundation for this look. Um, if you, I guess you could use a matte foundation. You're just going to not have as glassy a look. If you use a matte foundation, make sure you're mixing the moisture surge and going back with that um, moisture surge spray after. So I'm just patting this into my skin. If I was a younger skin, if I was a younger skin, I'm laughing at myself, I would um, probably skip foundation, but I have some dark spots, so I can't skip foundation to have glassy skin. <laughs> I don't know why I found that so funny <laughs> if I was a younger skin. My skin looks younger because of all the wonderful Clinique products. So I'm using a foundation brush and I'm patting. Hey, Joanne. Hey, Marky. So I'm patting it in. And especially in these areas where I have sunspots, you'll see me extra patting where I have the sunspots because I want to cover them. Not too much foundation with this look, but you can go into the areas. I don't, I'm, I don't even go all over with the foundation. Like my forehead is pretty good. Um, and my nose, with the exception of where I have broken capillaries along the sides, I don't go there with that, the foundation. But I am putting extra foundation where I have the sunspots and you're using a hydrating foundation. So we started, if you missed, it's not only glassy skin, but we're gonna raise a glass of wine too. It's after work hours, so if you are near your kitchen or you wanna take a break and go get a glass of wine, I am drinking my favorite wine and I'll take another sip while I do this. And my favorite wine these days, if you didn't see, is Apothic Inferno. This is amazing. Screenshot this bottle if you're a wine drinker. It's the best red wine I've ever had. <laughs> So while you're getting your glass of wine or your beer, if you're a beer drinker, I like beer too, comment below, do you like your wine in a gla wine glass or like a glass? I like mine in a short glass. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of my foundation right under my eye. And if you um, could invite a friend to this live, there's a button you can hit and I don't know how to explain it, but you can invite a friend to the live. So share this video or invite a friend to watch. Um, I'd love that. Hi, Kimberly. How are you? Where are you living these days? I think it's in the South, your mom was telling me. So how's the glassy skin looking? Tell me what you think from your end, how it looks. Is it looking glassy and glowy and healthy? This is a look that started in Korea, and I'm obsessed with it now. Um, and it's a hot trend for 2020. So start practicing your glassy skin. So when we go back to work, you can be popping. Thank you, Jerry. Jerry says I look stunning. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. So that's my foundation. I think I'm good with that. Don't forget, share, like, and check out my YouTube channel. It's Teresa Von Regan, and I'm on Instagram too. Um, I like to use creamy products, and it's wise to use creamy products with the glassy skin look. So we're gonna use um, a chubby stick blush and robust rhubarb, robust rhubarb, chubby stick blush. I like to put it in the apple of my cheeks, So put a smile on, put it right in your apples like a clown. You can use the same brush that you put your foundation on and just pat it back. And I like to go how you put your blush on, and there's lots of great um, things online about this, um, is based on your face shape. Because I'm a longer face shape, straight back with my blush is really good um, because it makes my face look a little bit rounder versus longer. If I had a rounder face and I wanted my face to look longer, I would have a more diagonal, blo diagonal br blush. So, 
what part of what makes this look too is all the extra hydration and the creamy products that you use so i also love to use highlighter but with this look i like to do stack my highlighter so i have the chubby stick highlighter from clinique it's the um highlighter chubby stick that only comes in one shade you can Put this right along your bone structure so wherever the bone structure sticks out you want to put that highlighter so like your cheeks your chin um your nose your eyebrows your chin the i call them the high points of your face another place that i like to do my highlighter is my jaw the jaw is good when you're older and you're starting to lose that jawline you can put the uh, highlighter in the cheek and then contour underneath so it, you want to highlight where you want to bring out and then you want to contour where you want to recede so if that makes sense to everybody you can then tap it in with your fingertips I like the highlight to really show I'm not going to use my foundation brush I'm just going to lightly tap it in everywhere like I want lots of highlight and I said I like to stack the highlight so I'm going to stack my highlight and I love these MAC Hyper Real Glow Highlighters. They come in three shades. So I like to stack with this. And I'm going to use um, this powder brush. Actually, we're not going to use the powder brush. I take that back. I'm going to use the eyeshader brush because I want a more precise highlight. So I like this middle one a lot because it has a rose tint to it. So we're stacking highlight, lots of highlight with this glassy skin look. So I asked people earlier, did you start mowing your lawn yet? Because, you know, the grass is starting to grow. Here at the Von Regan house, we had to start mowing our lawn. We mowed once. So all those high points of the face. Oh, something must smell my brush. So all the high points of your face, you're going to double highlight. I'm going to buff it a little bit because I think I got a little too much highlight now <laughs> with my blender brush. I went up, got a little carried away, <laughs> but it does look good. I like a lot of highlight. So, and this gives that whole glassy skin appearance and all this extra layers of hydration will make you look a lot younger. So if you want to look younger, hydrate, 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 exfoliate, exfoliate, exfoliate. Your hydration will not absorb in, your moisturizer will not absorb in if you're not exfoliating. Hey April, how are you? Hey Amy. So glass, that's really, I mean, the gist of the glassy skin look. I am going to do a lip too. Hey John. And because we're doing this glassy skin look, which is more of a Korean trend, we're also going to do a popsicle lip. Drop me an emoji if you've heard of a popsicle lip, any kind of emoji. Smiley, um, a sunshine, I love sunshine emojis, um, a hand raise, have you heard of a popsicle lip? Typically, a popsicle lip is a bright lip um, color right in the center of the lip. A lot of times they don't even put liner on and then they maybe put a little gloss on. Um, so we're going to do a popsicle lip and I'm going to, I am going to line my lips though. So I said typically they don't line their lips. I have an older lip and as we age our lips, I mean I'm not that old, but my lips are aging. And as we age we lose the elasticity in our lip and our lips get thinner. So I feel like I need to still line my lip. So I'm going to use a more natural lip pencil to line my lip before I do my popsicle lip with lip blush. So tell me, drop me an emoji if you know what a popsicle lip is, any emoji. Also, since we're doing glassy skin, tell me, are you a glass half empty or a glass half full kind of girl or guy? I'm definitely a glass half full. Like, I'm always looking at the bright side. 
So I'm gonna line a little bit outside of my natural lip. Again, because my lips are getting thinner. I also like to tighten my lip to get a tighter lip line. John, are you in New York or, are you, or New Jersey? I know you work in New York, but do you live in New York too? It's good to see you. Okay, so we're lining our lip. We're doing what's called a popsicle lip, which is part of the Korean trend as well. And we're filling in with the lip. I'm just gonna go a little bit under my lip with some foundation just to touch it up. Okay, so now I set a bright pop of color to get the popsicle lip. It, I think it's called, I really don't know, but I'm guessing it's called a popsicle lip because if you think about when you were a little kid, and you eat a popsicle, you get that bright color at the center of your lips. So it's just so, so cute and so fun, right? So we're gonna do just in the center of the lip, this bright lipstick. And this is one of my favorite lips, the lip, the color world, but it's Graffiti Pop. I love Graffiti Pop. Okay, so you wanna focus the bright color right at the center of your lips. And then you're going to use your finger to blend it out, but I'm also going to add some Moisture Surge Lip because it's just going to help spread it out nicely. Moisture Surge Lip is going to give me a really nice plump hydration. And we're just keeping this pop of color for our popsicle lip at the center of our lip. It's so hard for me not to put it other places. What do you think? Hi, I'm Peggy. So I'm just gonna touch up a little bit with my lip liner. So, Graffiti lip and I use lip blush liner to give more of that popsicle lip look. Thanks, Jerry. I think it's pretty too. I'm actually today, this morning was the first time I've ever done a popsicle lip. I tried it this morning. I'll be totally real with you. It's graffiti lip and lip blush. So that is my glassy skin routine. And I'm really excited that you got to spend time with me and see it. Check out um, in the details of this video my 20% clinic code if you want to try something. I'm also offering to do skin schools. So if you wanna try a skin school, type skin school in any of the comments and we will be looking at the comments of all the pages that these videos are on um, to see if you type skin school. Thanks, Nancy Day. And we will definitely get back to you, message you, and thanks, Jerry, um, and message you about setting up a date for a skin school. Skin schools are totally free. It's just a time for you to learn how to do makeup, skincare, whatever you want to learn. I'm here for you. It's a free service that I'm offering. It's the perfect time. Um, you know, we can have happy hour skin schools. We can have tea party skin schools. Bring your favorite wine, invite your girlfriends, your favorite tea. Um, but I'd love to offer you a skin school. And um, check out my discount code. And I think that's all. But um, don't forget, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, and I have a new adventure on YouTube. So check out my YouTube channel, Teresa Von Regan. We're starting a video series on YouTube. Um, we just filmed Brows and Smoky Eyes today. So those will be coming out soon. Check them out. Subscribe. Any ideas? Like, I would love to know what you want to learn. Like, I'm Googling the trends and I'm watching the trends, but... I would love for you to comment below and tell me what you want to learn. Like, what? Like I don't know, like, what does a 40-year-old mom want to learn? What do the Gen Zs and the Millennials want to learn? Um, I know that my kids are...
begin to highlight. They like highlight in eyes, but what are your daughters or what are you? I saw my cousin on here. Um, I think Elizabeth and Aaron was on here. We can do a skin school. What do you want to learn? Like you're, you're a millennial, like let me help you out. <laughs> so comment below. Cheers, Jen, how are you? And that's really all tonight, but thanks for joining. Bye for now.